Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode, Day 7 of my Let's Clash series. So I woke up and I saw this defense that happened to me. So this guy was using a mass giants to attack my base. So as you can see, my clan castle has came out containing some minions and even a balloon. So the balloon is going to do super duper massive damage to the giants, taking them all out now with just one drop of the bomb. Because uh, balloons, they do splash damage and they do huge damage to any ground troops. So the balloon did really well to try to take out all the troops that were attacking my base and eventually got 21 trophies from this defense. So back to my base, so as you can see, I unlocked one of the extra troops that I wanted, which is the wall breaker. So the wall breaker is really nice as it can break through the wall really easily. As just at level 1, it's not really um, of much use. So collecting the 10 gems from the achievement for completing to get the wall breaker done. And then eventually trying to get more gems from the bush. Getting 4 gems from the bush, which is really nice. So back to my base again, upgrading the army camp to the next level, level 5, which will allow me to bring 5 more troops into the battlefield and needing just one day to upgrade that army camp. So now getting more national flags to stock up for my next town hall level of level 6 so that I can upgrade my wars quicker. So now let's take a look at one of the raids that I'd like to show you guys. So this particular base, as you can see, is a relatively dead base whereby all the uh, resources are kind of on the outside, uh, on the inside the collectors and also the gold mines with like 150,000 gold and elixir available for me to loot. So just uh, spreading my troops around the whole entire base so that I can take out all the gold mines and also the collectors itself. As you can see, the storages, they are pretty empty. So of course, I'll be focusing on the outside, the collectors alone. And as you can see on the top left too, there is no uh, shield or badge, some people call it as mentioned before, that there ain't any leak. This person do not have any leak inside. So basically, he's like inactive for a while and I decided to attack him. And then eventually, uh, my CC came out with the balloons and then eventually took out some of the defenses. And then eventually, the... Troops just continue to take out some of the resources, getting up 55%, 1 star. So going back to our base, so as you can see, the national flag, I've been stocking up even more. And then eventually uh, getting more national flags to just prepare for the next town hall level. So another rate I'd like to show you guys is 300 over 1000 gold and elixir rate. So I decided to go for it because definitely it's very high in resources. However, as you can see, the storages inside at the uh, middle section there. They are pretty uh, full but uh, unfortunately I could get 230,000 gold from that particular base itself and eventually once another army camp was completed I decided to upgrade the next one upgrading to level 4 in um, just a few more uh, hours and then uh, just getting more national flags right now getting the last few national flags as I want to stock up all my national flags so that eventually when I reach to Town Hall 6, I can sell away all my national flags and get back 250,000 which will be technically like ready for me to use for my Town Hall 6 upgrades. Whether I'm going to use for wars, whether I'm going to use for any other defenses upgrades, that will be really nice. To have a spare 250,000 uh, gold with me, that will be really nice. But of course, I'll be upgrading my gold storages too. So that I'll be able to prepare to upgrade my Town Hall to Town Hall 7. And also be able to stock up more gold for my Town Hall 6 upgrades. So I know some of you guys will be saying that why did I rush my Town Hall to Town Hall 6 and even planning to rush to Town Hall 7. The main reason is because my wars, they have already been maxed. Gold wars, they are already maxed for my current level. So if I do not proceed on to level 6, my wars, they will be stagnant. will be able to upgrade. The gold will just overflow and be wasted. So that's why I'm actually upgrading my Town Hall really quickly to upgrade the wars pretty fast. Whereas for defenses, they are going to just remain at low level right now. Once I hit to like a Town Hall 9 or even Town Hall 10, then I will focus more on the defenses. So as of now, I just focus upgrading my walls as they take really a long time and a lot of resources to upgrade them. Redeeming a total of almost 2.3 billion resources to upgrade them. So I really want to start them soon and then eventually be able to have an easy way around them. So this is another defense that actually occurred to me so this guy was using uh, some giants some healers and in fact uh, some goblins to try to take out my resources so as you can see the minions came out from my clan castle taking out the giants and also the healers eventually now trying to take out the goblins however they weren't able to take out the goblins fast enough and took out my gold storage but only getting a uh, 56,000 gold from me so that wasn't a uh, too bad for me so some of you guys also were saying uh, why do i uh, stock up such 
a huge amount of gold is because I'm just preparing for the next level and if I just go offline right now, the defenses uh, do not affect me that much even if I do not have any defenses because whenever I go offline, my resources are usually quite low. So whenever I go on defense like the one that you just saw, I usually lose around 50 over 1000 or 40 over 1000. In fact, even uh, 20 over 1000 of resources which is relatively easy to get back especially like if you look at this rate right now it's 180,000 gold available some of them they are inside the gold storage some of them they are in the gold mine so now let's focus on the gold mine on the left side deploying the troops with a multi deployment strategy again so in 3, 2, 1 we will go so yes so deploying the troops taking out the gold mines filling up really quickly uh, now from 180,000 dropping to 130,000 store already 50,000 so reclaiming back what I've lost so that's pretty fast. So I'm not too worried about uh, losing resources through defenses. Um, just uh, worried for my trophies to be honest because I didn't want to go too low in trophies. However, um, I just have to focus on attacking and winning the attacks and not losing the attacks. If I lose the attacks at the same time losing my defenses, then of course my trophies will go down very low. And in fact, low enough up to the extent whereby even maybe even reaching to like low or silver league. And then I won't be able to find high resources bases as to where I usually like to find at, which is like Gold League. So now this particular base, as you can see, I was having a hard time trying to win this base. And then I decided to drop my lightning spell, trying to take out two builders hard. Unfortunately, I could only take out one. And eventually I was left to the heroic archer over there trying to take out the dark elixir storage on the top. So eventually the archer managed to take out the dark elixir storage, eventually getting us the one star, 50%. Uh, however, she got taken down by the Mota itself, but ending the battle, getting us the 1 star, so great job for that Archer. So now this particular base, as you can see, is very, very, very huge in loot. 386,468,000 Elixir respectively. So as you can see, I definitely went for it because it was so high in loot and I can see that the gold mines, they are pretty full. Not pretty full, but very, very full. So I went for it, decided to go for the gold mines, trying to focus on them. Some of uh, my troops trying to focus on the elixir collectors too. Uh, really nice to find this kind of loot. As you can see also in the middle, the storages, the elixir storage and also the gold storages, they are very full. However, my troops are just too weak, just having level 2 and level 3 archers respectively. They are just plain too weak to try to get into the middle of the base so just typing the tower on the outside that was also nice so that I secured the win and then eventually just ending the battle um, getting like a few hundred thousand uh, gold and elixir so that was that was really good so back to my base getting some gem from the bush itself and then now doing another raid so as you can see 205,000 gold so it's pretty easy to find high resources bases sometimes it takes me around a minute or even uh, 3 minutes depending on my luck and of course depending on what time I do the search uh, I think uh, roughly the longest that I actually searched for at this particular town hall level to search for like a hundred thousand over a resources base is roughly a four to five minutes uh, I've not exceeded more than uh, eight minutes to even uh, search for a decent base so sometimes I just do not have the time to clash so I just uh, do a, a raid then after that I just go offline and eventually coming back online to um, sometimes be attacked sometimes not even be attacked uh, I do not know why people do not attack me sometimes even having like a 400,000 uh, resources in my base but nobody attacked me 4,000 resources people will roughly see around a few hundred thousand uh, resources available for loot so now as you can see I upgraded the next uh, army camp to the next level and then uh, just needing one day for it to be completed so another raid as you can see I'm doing a lot of insane loot Rates very very high in loot rate, so another two hundred and six thousand uh go from this Town Hall Seven alone. This Town Hall Seven is kind of a premature Town Hall Seven, as you can see the Mota in the middle is like a level two or level three Mota, and then the Wizard Tower on the top left, as you can see, is also like a level one uh Wizard Tower. So the Archer Towers and also the Cannons they are not uh, very high in level. I'm not too sure whether this uh, base have a Tesla. In fact, if there is a Tesla, I'm pretty sure it's like a level one Tesla. As uh, it really looks super duper in uh, mature base, pre mature base to be exact. So um, just attacking the base, I uh, couldn't do that well to get the percentage that high because the uh, defenses they were kind of behind the walls, uh, being protected really well by the walls. So I did mention that walls really help a lot. So this is one of the example of how walls can actually protect your defenses from being attacked and taken out that quickly. So that's it for this uh, particular episode. I'd like to update you guys for my this Let's Clash series. So hope you guys will stay tuned for the next few episodes. Hopefully be able to get to Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9 or even Town Hall 10. 
as soon as possible. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.